Hey everyone, it's me, Mahmoudi Hep. And uh, today it's not a venting or anything. It's it's a little story time, and it's a story time of the one thing that made me of who I am and who I was on Twitter and who I am on Discord and on here and whatsoever. It's gonna be quite long, and uh, it's gonna be. I'm just gonna try to summarize everything, cause it, like I said, it's very long, and I don't want to bother bringing this much detail whatsoever. Here's a little bit of a prequel to it. Back in the day, before the time of the story. It's, um, I used to be someone who didn't pretty much give a shit about any of this crazy stuff, such as love, socialism, friendship, or whatsoever. I was more of a, a lone wolf. Like, I was more of a lone wolf that, you know, used to be just a loner. And I used to have lots of decent games on my side. I used to be like, uh, you know, not so hardcore gamer, but at least had the wills for some of the crazy games. Oh well. And it was quite a fun time. However, at, uh, at the time of that story, let's just say it all went into the wrong way. Like even before that time, I I've been into the balcony, and I've been wishing for one thing, and only one thing: internal happiness. But then, didn't know that this happiness would just be entirely something else. Now, to start it up. One day, it was second year middle school first semester. There was a new girl that recently been transferred into our school, and she didn't just show up instantly, cause I, cause I was totally in a different place. But then, at the time of the first session, we found her. And I'm not gonna lie to you all. She was what you could call it the perfect package. But then back in the day I didn't really care this much at first. One time it was a day where I was going to a trip and uh I was about to get on the bus that gets me to that trip. And suddenly found her waving to me. And then I moved my face a little bit of left and right. And she was waving to me from like the top the top floor. And um Yeah. And then she signaled to me that she was indeed waving to me. And I was surprised, but then cares as much. Then the second semester came in. That new girl didn't show up at the first day, but she showed up at the second day, and it was all a bunch of surprise. Like first, she gets her desk next to mine, not directly next, and she wasn't sitting next, directly next to me, cause back in the day there was a thing about a guy sitting next to a girl. Yeah, there was these kind of real stupid stuff. Anyways, um, and she was almost as if she was gonna directly sit next to me, and sometimes be whispering to me about some random stuff, and I just try to go along. And then, well, that session has started, and um, yeah, 
the day went on normally. Then later on at the uh, the break time. Later on at some of the break times, uh, she used to invite me to sit next to her, and I'm gonna have to admit, I was really bad at it. Like I literally didn't speak a word, cause I of course knew absolutely nothing due to not even dealing with someone. Oh well, and she sometimes introduced me to some of her new friends from other years and whatsoever and like right and then and then like back at the then later on she uh, and later on she kept on doing that for a while and then one day at a not a PE session, but more of a a little bit free time in the in the freaking playground for a bit session. So, anyways, one day there was a primary school kid who was being a dumbass to her, and like saw that from like not so far or close to. Her and some of her friends place but it was a little bit in between anyways I uh, I've been watching that all this time while I was literally eating my my croissant and, and soda but then that kid was about to throw a rock at her and some other guys from other higher year from other guys from high school had literally been hitting the kid on her and when I saw him about to throw the rock I just stepped in like a like a little bit of a pull but only for like 10 seconds for or, or shorter can't really remember and then I was like running around and jumping around making a little bit of a joke here and there about it but of course nobody heard that but while making these jokes it kinda began to dwell in me that yeah and uh, and then before the last session of that day she offered me to hang out next to her for a bit but then like an idiot I refused because back in the day I was trying to be that one good student and, um, and then later on I uh, and later on I realized that I should probably just hang out yeah right um, and then uh, later on I was supposed to I mean, later on I realized that I should probably just hang out with her for a little bit. And it was probably that time where I would actually like give my, not a testimony, but more of like what I have seen. Because some teachers and watchers have blamed her so bad. And I was the one that's supposed to be in there. So... I made some excuses to get out like twice and then probably the race sold. By the end of the day, uh, we just waved to each other and by that time we waved to each other goodbye before I went home. It was that feeling, that feeling that I have been falling in love. And I uh, have to admit. She was just the nicest. Like, so I've been... Like, she was doing nothing but being nice to me. You know? But then... It didn't... Like, you know, every day we were sitting to eat next to each other. She was talking to me every now and then. Sometimes giving to each other some pens or food. Or, well, 
a soda sometimes and sometimes he keeps introducing me to some of her new friends and it continued on till one day a stupid monthly exam result came up and uh, I literally showed I really told them to my freaking parents and yeah my dad just kept on spamming one word at that day your future your future your future your future and before even that I can I was already having like quite a I was being quite a mess honestly you know in my heart in my brain in my you know in my studies and gaming even so I was decided to step away from her a little bit but I couldn't but then after he came in and did that, I was like, guess I'm just gonna have to step away from her. And did what I shouldn't have done. Instead of like literally being nice, I literally been the worst. Like one day, like an idiot, I threw a pen at her, but not, but it did not get to her. It got to one of her other friends and she came to me and was like what the hell you think you're doing but then I was supposed to be replying like a normal gentleman and whatsoever but I replied like an asshole honestly and uh, it was heartbreaking for both of us and I wasn't feeling right and you guys might be thinking that I have apologized to her or whatsoever. Nope. I didn't. Instead, I literally left it like that till the end. And I mean literally till the end. And the thing in my brain and my heart increased instead of decreasing. Been thinking about her way too much. Couldn't sleep a lot, couldn't study, could even play games, and guilt was being built up to me, very bad, until the very last day, where I almost had planned for like the whole thing to become, <sighs> to become like perfect for me, and uh, Instead of just getting to it and fix the whole stuff, I didn't. Because I've been a very big pussy to do it. And thanks to my cowardice, she left. Without a word, without an apology, without anything. And so, and after that, I've been, it's where bullshit happened. I began to flow in my heart and my brain and it took me a very hard time moving on from her and by and by the time that I fell in love with her all of the stuff about common sense knowledge and love knowledge and humanity knowledge yeah the whole common sense about love and common sense itself and humanity whatsoever all of that literally came on to me at that time and then all these no this knowledge kept on going until until literally like now you know and that knowledge was absolutely unnecessary at these days cuz the time was already over and um, she left and lots of ridiculous shit has happened and um, and after that uh, I have been trying so hard to literally find the one that could replace her find someone who could have been nice to me as she was nice to me by lots of dumb stuff honestly like such as simping and 
possible idiocy and yeah and then thanks to all the failures and the many years alongside my parents adding to my failures I've been of what I am then one day I stumbled across some of the Nintendo directs and stuff and to tell you guys the truth one time I went on to Twitter to literally like try and become the next Etika and then try to you know to eventually find someone who would replace the girl that's been gone <clears throat> basically to try and become the next Etika and the to find myself a girlfriend in there honestly and of course decent friends and that is the story of why I am who I am and why I have ended up like that and to tell you guys the truth it was a mistake really falling in love at that time was a big mistake in fact meeting her was quite a big mistake because if only I have known that falling in love was her and literally listening to my dad and literally like all of that all of that would literally lead me into what I am right now I literally wouldn't have went into it but then again it's too late for regret you know too late for any unnecessary regret so yeah uh thanks to everyone thanks for listening to this honestly pretty ridiculous and stupid story but at least some of you would know about uh would know quite a bit more about me and uh yeah it's uh like i said falling in love at that time was a mistake a real big mistake at that time otherwise well if i actually went in i could have been a totally another person but it's too late <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> My throat hasn't been doing well these days. So anyways, thanks for listening to this terrible story, honestly. And uh, I'm gonna be making remixes as usual. Of course, when I have ideas for them. See ya.